welcome back. We uh, we have some wall, <laughs> sort of, started. It's uh, a work in progress, and I'm not entirely sure how much I like what parts of it, and how much I like uh, all of it, and it's... I'm going to be experimenting a lot with it. In fact, I'm going to go take a piece of it down now, because I've got something more important to work on, more important than the city's defenses. <laughs> we need to get the villagers from all the way over there, all the way over here, into a supply depot for the trading center. And this is important because I don't want to go through the trouble of lag-proofing that area when I'm just gonna... I'm, I wanted to move them over really soon anyway. So we gotta get a supply depot going. Let me go grab this. Do, gotta grab that lime green um, stained clay over here. Let's just throw some cobblestone up here for the moment. And let's go grab some leaves because we are gonna need to experiment a little bit. So, the basic idea is to go for a British military repurposing of, I don't want to say castle, but generally it, it is a castle. So, But I'm not going for a castle feel. Um, it's going to be a very stone organic. I'm not sure if I'm going to like the cobblestone feel for it. I really, really would like to grab some of the uh, stone brick, cracked stone brick, uh, well, it's cracked and mossy specifically. I don't really care about the regular stone brick. I can make that myself. But I'm not sure if I want to do stone brick or cobblestone for this, because I don't generally like to use cobblestone in the finished product, because I don't like using such a common resource in it. I, it looks really good. I like the look of it in the nether, but um, I don't generally like the look of it in the overworld. So, or in the end, for that fact. So I'm trying to accomplish a little something where the uh, the wall is gently slanted upward. I think I'm going to have to go with more, with another layer of um, stone brick or uh, cobblestone block, solid cobblestone block here. But let's just try that real quick, and then I'll show you what I want to do on the top, why I need those leaves. <coughs> Alright. Getting dark already? Wow. Whee! Alright. Oh, that's too high. Too high, too high, too high. Come on, give me one of them. Give me just one. Well, I'll take that. Let's grab that gravel again. <laughs> now that we've fallen all the way down. Alright. Need the lime green. Let's do a little inside here. Alright, so we've got oak leaves. And it's kind of dark. Let's go sleep so we can see a little bit better. And so we don't get blown up. Got a little uh, tree experiment going on over here too. Got a, uh, a rapid pulser, uh, torch burnout rapid pulser. And uh, you just plant the tree here. And let the bone meal do the work for you. It's not so, uh, not so much of an improvement in quality of life. <laughs> it's not that difficult to grow a tree. Especially if, you know, you've got some... See? I don't know. I might actually like the, the stairs on the bottom. Let's... Let's pop up here and take a little higher vantage point look. I'm not liking the way that the leaves are... That the... the um... Lime-stained clay is hidden so much. But it's not really something you're gonna see generally anyway. Especially not if you starve to death. Mmm, taters. <laughs> Especially since we're in the process of trying to kill ourselves here. Mm -mm -mm. <clears throat> Alright, let's kill ourselves a little bit more. 
UHC mode has not been turned on yet, by the way. I think the plan is to turn it on for the dragon fight, which we already tried to have once, unsuccessfully. Let's put... Let's go... Block. Yeah, it's good enough. We'll do... We'll set up a little test area here. It'll save us the leaves. And there. The idea is to go for a more natural looking grass. I mean, I can I can silk touch some grass and put it up here. But, I don't know. Let's try some other leaves. Oh, darn. Not that I'm lacking for leaves, but I may use them somewhere else later. And I hate wasting stuff. So, there's that. Uh, let's go with spruce leaves. The unlikely success. Huh. That actually might not be so bad. Hmm, 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 hmm. Next test. Birch. Birchy, birchy, birch. Yeah, that's, that's just disgusting. That's like pea soup, baby poop, chicken coop green. That's just, I don't know, chicken coops aren't green, generally, but that's just nasty. <laughs> so. Oak or spruce. Oh, I, I, I'm loving the look of the spruce in this biome. This seems to be too open, too uh, too transparent. I might not always have it set to fancy graphics, but hmm. All right. Oh, let's go grab the cobweb clippers and get some grass. Not cobweb clippers. Wrong series. I have cobweb clippers on our uh, fantasy build server. Looking for my ice pickers. And I locked them away. <laughs> Let's go play around with some grass and see if that's going to look right. Get my silk touch ice pickers. We're going to multi purpose you guys today. Yeah, no durability loss. I love shears with silk touch on them. See, okay, good. Not that I wouldn't mind having ice grass <laughs> silk touched. I would love to have I to be able to silk touch uh snow grass rather. Ice grass. <laughs> it hurts. Walk around barefoot. But it hurts. Oh, that was a lovely jump. I don't think I can make it anyway, but let's try. Nope. Alright, let's just waste some pick durability here. I'm gonna have stairs by the time I done, I'm done going back up and forth. So, let's see. <sighs> see, the whole reason I started tampering with the uh, lime green clay and leaves was because I wanted to be able to do something akin to... spruce leaves. This, to go down the hill. Because the grass doesn't have, I mean, you'll let, you could turn, you could fiddle around with texture packs, or I think Optifine has the um, side textures option. Let's see. I think it does. Quality details? Side grass? Side grass? Anybody? Side grass? Fancy? Default. Fast? Fancy. Yeah, that's not much. It's too fast. <laughs> there is something that you can do for side grass. And uh, I'll have to figure it out later. But, yeah. This does not look right. does not look normal. It's Minecraft. And it, it that's fine. I'm not gonna, you know, complain that, you know, it's gotta be... Otherwise, because that's Minecraft. This is the signature Minecraft look. Is the the uh, grass block with the d dirt side, but the um, it makes it difficult to make anything look really nice if you have to use grass or dirt. I could, however, if I grab. Whoop. 
Do I have any grass around here? Come on, tall grass. Tall grass. Those are trees. Come on, tall grass. Oop, actually I have a bone. Let's use that. Probably get a flower, just because. <laughs> That's my kind of luck. Hmm. Nope, still not liking it. So what I'll probably instead do, since I'm actually using this to make buildings and I'll, I'll have uh, other design options like rubble and whatnot to cover the sides of the of the hill that they're built into, I will uh, be able to just use grass on top because I think it, it still is going to look a whole lot better than that and that's kind of sad because this, it's not, not nice. <laughs> But in about five minutes after it, uh, after I finish it, it's going to be covered in snow anyway. So whatever, <laughs> grass it is. But that's the that's the idea. That's what I'm going for, and I'm going to work on the supply depot here, and um, clear off a spot, build it into one of the spots that I've got to clear or something like that. And actually, that looks kind of nice when there's not a lot of light shining down on it. And the stairs, of course, keep the spawns down. Well, on the stairs at least the spawns don't happen. But um yeah. I might just have to do that. I'm not doing anything with wool either, not for this. Not gonna take all the time to farm it to begin with. Second, it kinda looks like crap most of the time anyway. So Yeah, I'm gonna have to have to tinker with it, but I, I think I am gonna proceed with grass on the seal on the top of the structure and uh at least similar uh slanting effect there so i will tinker around with that and i will see you when i'm done all right so i did quite a bit of work over here had to uh do some digging and terraforming still got more to do quite a bit more actually but um and take a look at what i've got here Again, I'm not quite sure how much I like it. I mean, I like it, and this is what I'm going for, but I'm not, I think I'm going to have to make some more adjustments to it. The, uh, especially here on the corners. I've been playing around with that off and on for a while, and I'm not sure how much I like what. I'm going more, I was, er, the first time, rather, that I did it, I did something more like this. And that wasn't working out too nicely down when you get towards the bottom. So I tried to bring it up a little bit, make it seem a little steeper, and I think I'm going to have to... I don't know if I want to take it a little bit further or scale it back a little bit, honestly. But, um... It just... that corner, it seems too steep uh, on the corner, and then not quite steep enough... I don't know. <laughs> it's just... I'm going to have to play with it, and I think I'm going to have to settle for something, because it doesn't... I'm not going to get it right. I'm not going to get it the way I like it, and that's just Minecraft. <laughs> that's just the way it is. But uh, I, I know I can do better than this. At least I think I can do better than this. I was toying around with uh, with fence posts along the inside, and that looked right up until you got right about here, and then it just looked horrible. So the overall effect was worse. But, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to play around with that some more. I, uh, I do want to add, since this is going to will have been in a state of decay for a while. I'm going to add some moss stone. Let's put that here. And uh, some other moss stone fixtures in certain spots and add some vines around. I don't want the vines to grow all over the place so I'll have to use some string or something to work out where I want the vines to actually grow and keep them there. But we actually do the end result have a functional shelter. I did decide, obviously, to make it underneath where I have everything up top. Let me show you the top real quick. This is the level that I want to have everything settle in at. I'm going to have to dig out the rest of this and uh, get it to where uh, actually is balanced out and evened out, which means I'm going to be moving some of this, but I'm going to be moving all the storage downstairs anyway. So that's not going to be much of a problem. 
the portal, I have no idea where I'm putting that right now. I think I'm going to make some sort of transportation hub or office, some sort of building that's dedicated to things that I don't want anybody to see that don't fit in with the theme. Might put, uh, I don't want to put like diamond block storage or anything silly like that, but it might be more, uh, like maybe the bread machine, if I make a bread machine, because that wouldn't, uh, that wouldn't fit very well with the theme over here, similar to this little, uh, bone mealing device <laughs> for trees. It just doesn't fit, and I want to get rid of that, keep it out of, out of eye sight, so I might make that the little mare's building or mayor's office building and then the rest of the buildings in the area will house uh, some agriculture some well I guess this is agriculture too some meat agriculture <laughs> the uh, the less um, less I don't know I don't, I don't know what you want to call it it's uh, it's not necessarily unsightly but I don't think that you would have as much out in the open, not in an environment like this, because even though it is a, a cordoned off town and a cordoned off area, it's bitter cold out, so you'd want to have some sort of a shelter for any sort of farming or any sort of animals. It would be, on the inside, suitable for them. It wouldn't be necessarily nice and pretty, but then again, I mean, nothing in this area is going to be exactly pretty. It just don't want it to be an eyesore. It should look right and still have some sort of aesthetic appeal to it in some way, shape, or form. Actually, let me go in and move this track a little bit here. I do have a few more rails. i just bring it down a little bit more. I want to get some villagers in here. I just want to get them in here in the carts, and then I'll set up a stall to put them in the carpet here so you can keep zombies out without getting too nasty. What kind of daylight am I working with? Not much. Let's let's go grab my bed. It's a porta bed now. Not quite as cozy as an RV, <coughs> but it I'm gonna need it with me. Because I do not want to go over here and start villager selection and have a bunch of zombies just constantly piling up while I'm trying to do business. Got enough killing to do. It's going to be quite a chore getting them back, but I'm going to record the villager selection process, not the tedious part where I haul them all back and push them back and forth, because nobody wants to see that. Unless I'm going to die, then everybody would want to see it. But <laughs> I, I have no intention of dying. Still zero deaths, and we actually did just... Well, I don't, don't mean... It's not just. It's actually been a few days since we finished up the dragon fight, but... We had some scheduling issues with the dragon fight, and uh, miscommunication, m memory lapse issue <laughs> that prevented us from actually having the dragon fight on the day that I started recording this. Actually, no. Whoa. Sound hell. On the day that I, uh, I was going to record this, and the, uh, the end result was that we waited around for about an hour and a half to start the fight. Never did get a chance to actually have the fight. Lots of fun. But, you know, we all... We had some fun together. I even recorded a little bit from that night. Just put up a little circuit here. That's gonna loop. Eh, that'll be fine. And, um... A few of us were there and derped around for a bit. Ooh, a priest. Come on. Go on, spread the gospel. There you go. <laughs> is that a priest? Yes, that's his, that is what they're called. All right. Okay, that's not too bad at starting trade. We'll leave you. See if he goes around. That would be... Yes, that's wonderfully convenient. Until they start pushing each other around. Let's see if we can get somebody that's not a priest. Farmer. Farmer Joe. Soon to be Trader Joe. <laughs> what do you have? That's a horrible starting trade. Perfect. <laughs> Get in. Do not need more flint because I don't need more arrows. I have plenty of flint from all the gravel I've been mining. Talk about terrible trades. Oh, come on. Diamond trade. Diamond trade. 
<laughs> Not diamond trade. Diamond axe. Don't actually need diamond axes. Let's say goodbye. I know you've got a diamond guy in there. There. We won't leave him around. As sad as it is to commit murder in the name of business. Well, I am an American. I <laughs> uh, guess it's not that unusual. This isn't even a worse trade, isn't it? I mean, I don't need enchanted iron axes. Especially not paying for... Yeah, let's... Hmm. No, you know what? There's no real horrible trades with uh, priests. Actually, blacksmith is probably... Come on. Come on. Let's prevent zombies here. Safety first. Let me sleep. Let me sleep. Just be quiet and let me sleep. Come on. There we go. Let's get creeper bombed. There's not really much by way of bad trades with anything other than... Is this the guy? Yeah. Other than the uh, blacksmith. The blacksmith has that nasty, nasty, obscene diamond trade. Come on. You first. All right. We got a, another blacksmith here. But the rest of them are actually pretty mundane. Ah. If I have to start the breeder back up, I will. <laughs> oh, come on. How many of them are in that corner? Another priest. Check. I have Ender. That's actually a really good trade. Don't care. Hey! Instant refill. Hmm. Don't care about Bane of Arthropods, though. Sorry, guy. Just not your day. These guys are going to hate me for a long while. Hope there's no Iron Golem spawned inside that's going to, you know, try and beat the crap out of me as soon as I come out. I hate the book trades, so there you go. We've got three. <laughs> like a carousel. <laughs> Alright, come on. If I can at least get... Come on. If I can at least get a butcher. Or a decent blacksmith. If I can get a decent blacksmith, the butcher doesn't really matter. <sighs> Well, that guy's starting out with wheat. I don't want to have to trade to get to wheat, so... Come on, you. Alright, we got to do something else with these guys. This is terrible. Let's get rid of the moss stone here. No, 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 no. All right. Now you can go. Go on. All of you. Get the heck out of here. Go on. Go on. Shoo. Shoo. Don't come back. There. All right. Now we'll resume. Good. Got the cart. Run. Come on. All the way. Priest. Well, I've already chosen a priest. Oh, paper trade. What was this guy offering? Books? We'll start out with a paper trade. Kind of hard to start out without emeralds. I know I'm breaking my own rules here. But I don't really care. Another priest. Book trade. Well, there's a death sentence for you. Let that be a lesson. If you offer me a bad trade, I'm probably just going to kill you. Unless you're a blacksmith. <laughs> Don't know many blacksmiths, though. Go on. Alright, well, I am going to work on this a little bit more. This is apparently going to take quite a while. <laughs> I haven't even got a butcher yet. So I will be back in a minute. Alright. Finally. Finally! Diamond! Now, I did accidentally kill a farmer that had fish as a starting trade, which was kind of sad, considering I really don't want to have to fish to reset the trades, so I might resume this process later and see if I can get a, a better farmer. But for now, we are D-U-N done. <laughs> I have had more than enough uh, villager murder to last me a while. 
Definitely. Definitely. It'll last me a very long time. Break this one. And let's see if I can get a block in here. Techni yeah, there we go. Technically, I should be able to. I was going to say before I did. <laughs> so let's get some of these guys over. Oop. Get back on track, guy. And they should, once I finish pushing them, go right in. And let me bring the bed. <laughs> just in case this takes a while. And I will see you back over there. Just a real quick recap. We've got pork chops and paper to get us started. Get that nasty diamond trade out of the way. And I found a, a priest that actually started with gold ingots. So... That was nice. I already showed you the farmer. So I will push these guys over since they're pushovers. And, oh, come on, you jerk. And I will be right back. All right, guys, here's the plan. You sneak around the... Oh, oh. Yep, you saw me, didn't you? Uh-huh. Planning your escape. Nope. You're mine now. And you're stuck here. But I suppose I can make the place a little purtier for you. Let's see, this is going to be the back wall. Let me go ahead and mark that off here. So that I know where I'm supposed to be. Whoop. Ah. Wow. Server lag has been kind of nasty lately. That's not supposed to open. Is that a stair? Hmm. It'll be a stair again soon. <laughs> let's close that. And let's see, they're going to be like three high. I hope this is the right spot for the outside wall. Otherwise, I am going to have to be very careful as I dig again. <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 14 cobblestone blocks. Ah, ah, ah. Alright, so on the back here, whoop, not oak wood. Let's get a bunch of spruce wood up here. Alright. And the way I want to decorate the inside, let's just do one little patch over here. I'm going to put them along this wall. And I can move them later if it's not right. Actually, you know what? I don't want it to be symmetric anyway. It's going to be the entrance over here. We'll just go ahead and line this off. Got to dig out that spot back there anyway. Oh, lots of spruce wood. Don't need it for fuel or logs or anything else anyway, so... Might as well put it to good use here. Alright. Then, let's see, I need... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. I need at least 11... Hmm... Yeah, let's do... Do I want to do stairs? Do I want to do... Let's go grab some iron bars. We'll see how that looks. What do I do with my iron bars? Where's my iron bars is at? Oh, oh, oh that's a big yield there. Whoop-dee-do. <laughs> Whoop-dee-do. That'll help. All right. Down we go. Time is it? Midday. Not a bad day to do some work. Not a bad time of day to do some work. <laughs> Never mind. All right. So let's divide them. So I'm going to put the entrance. I'm going to dig this out a little bit, and then I'll put the entrance over here. So when you walk in... Start the trades over here. Let's do counter. Counter will be here. Get rid of the shovel. Don't need to shovel any wood. Start the counter there. And then we'll put one. We'll block it off a little bit. Do I want to put two spaces? 
Yeah. We'll go ahead and give them a little bit of room. I have 17 along this side. I can put some more down here. Let's put some more down here. Let's run it all along. Whoop. Can you hear my piggies? I was actually kind of amazed how close... Ah, oh, don't have an axe. I was actually kind of amazed how close everything wound up being. You know, I, it's a pretty big area, but when you're talking... When you're working right around this, uh, this little base area that I've got set up, everything's pretty relatively close to it. I have no torches. Lovely. Put one up there for now. And, yeah. As long as I'm working in the area, it'll be fine. So let's put them in the middle, their own little spot. Boom. And we'll put a divider up here. And then one, two, boom, boom. One, two. Of course I've got all the torches right there. I want to put them on these little, uh, on the tracks. It seems to work out pretty nicely to have them confined on one track. One, two, three. Oh, losing count here. Quit distracting me. <laughs> one track. One, two, one, two. Is that five? Please tell me that's... Oh, that's only four. Do I have to move it, or do I have enough down here? One, two. Perfect. That'll work. One, two, one, two. Polish this up along the back here. That'll be good enough. And we've got a few extra torches. <laughs> Not really, but that'll do for now. Actually, you know what? I can put the torch there. I've got a better idea for that. Almost sleepy time. see, do I have enough glowstone? Ooh, just too few. Well, I can go around the back and finish it off. But for now, this darn portal's so loud. Let us... Ooh, no, that's not necessarily gonna work either. I'll fiddle with that some other time. I said, don't think... Yeah, they've got the wall right behind them. So, never mind. Let's just grab some torches while we're over here. And by grab, I of course mean make. Because I never make anything ahead of time. <laughs> At least not stuff that I actually need. We've got enough iron bars, so we'll ditch this again. Did some more caving, by the way. <laughs> some spare time. Uh, while I was waiting around. Couldn't record. So, got all that that I need. Let's go set up a counter. Since they're going to be in the mine carts... Did I pick up my... Yeah, I did pick up my crafting bench. Since they're going to be in the mine carts, I don't have to worry about uh, decorating later around them so much, because they're not going anywhere. But I would have rather been able to get that all worked out here. And I don't like that. Let's bring it out one more. We'll run them back and forth. Yeah. One. Two. Three. Put a torch in for that guy. And bloop. Ding. That way I can give them a little bit of uh, something that makes sense for their given profession. They might have uh, maybe an enchanting table for the priest, and uh, a furnace for the butcher, or something that you know maybe makes, makes it look a little bit more like a real furnace or something. You know, Minecraft should look real. <laughs> and I should leave this open, shouldn't I? I gotta get them in there somehow. Come on. Let's put some dirt on the bar here. And 
one. Let's go ahead and get some of these guys in place. Let's put the blacksmith in the center, if I can get to him. Just in time. <laughs> All right. Put this one here. Get rid of that. And one, two. All right. So let's do let's do sales over here. It's the butcher. Yeah. Let's put him right in there. We'll do the farmer on the other side. We'll kind of go in order. Do uh, the two that I do most of my selling to. And then the two down on the end there that do the enchanting or enchanted books. Come on. Come on. Work with me here. Work with me. Cooperate. That's not cooperating. Come on. Just you'll love it there. Come on. You'll just try it. Try it. How do you know you'll you won't like it if you don't try it? Go on. There we go. See? Snug as a bug in a cage. So, just that. One, two, three. And I do more with a librarian. Selling paper and books and whatnot. So we'll put him closer to the front here. Come on, stairs. Come on, you can do it. I believe in you. Let's go ahead and get the priest in, and then we'll have them in, and we'll just decorate them next time, because this is starting to get a little long here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Nudgy, nudgy. Nudgy, nudgy. There we go. Jerk. All right. And actually... What the... Oh, I forgot to sleep. Zombies coming in all over the place now. Hopefully not literally. I think this is completely sealed off. Yeah, it's completely sealed off. Little boogers don't uh, burn up in the daylight though. So I may have a little bit of a problem. Let's get these guys prepped for battle. Should have done this back when, uh, back when I had them nearby. And this guy is the more important, most important of all of them. There. Got two of them in there. Don't think they're up top yet. I don't think they can get up top. But, we will pick this up next time. And, hopefully, we will manage to keep them alive. <laughs> Doesn't sound like anything's going to try and make that easy. But... I will see you next time, and we can start trading and get the rest of this cleaned up. The next episode will probably be the dragon fight. Just have to get that all nice and taken care of and prepped, because it's already recorded. I've already had the fight, but um, I had some sound problems, so it's going to be interesting. <laughs> And I'll see you, see you in the dragon video, and then I'll really see you next time in, when we continue working on this. <laughs>